to Decision 2022. Some candidates across the state are conceding tonight while others are declaring victory as we're starting to get a clearer picture of election results up and down the ballot. Team 12's Joe Dana has the latest on several contests. It's been an eventful 48 hours on the election front with several key races decided that will impact Arizona for years to come. In southern Arizona, a Republican rising star squeaks out of victory. Newcomer Juan Siscomani of Tucson will be the new member of Congress. That pickup by Republicans along with another congressional seat means Arizona's congressional delegation has flipped. Arizona will now have six Republicans versus three Democrats representing us in Congress. On the state legislative level, a key race a lot of people were watching closely in Northeast Phoenix is over. Republican Nancy Bardo, known most recently for sponsoring Arizona's abortion ban, will lose to school teacher and legislator Christine Marsh, the Democrat. Overall, Arizona's legislative makeup in both chambers does not change. Republicans will once again have a one vote advantage in both the House and Senate. That means compromise will be necessary between the legislature and the new Democrat governor, Katie Hobbs, as Hobbs holds veto power over any legislation. Another key development in the last 24 hours, Prop 308 has passed. The so-called Dreamers proposition narrowly wins after a 15-year battle. And another big turn of events, the dark money proposition is soon to be law. Barring a lawsuit, it will require donors of campaign ads contributing more than $5,000 to identify who they are. A couple surprise committee leader appointments in the Senate as well. Wendy Rogers will be the elections committee chair. Rogers tops the Anti-Defamation League's most extreme lawmakers list in the country. Rogers supports white nationalist organizations and has spread conspiracy theories about January 6th. Republicans in the Senate also confirmed Anthony Kern as Senate Judiciary Chair. Kern was a phony elector in the scheme to overturn the 2020 election and was at the Capitol on January 6th. And we're still watching a very close race for Attorney General with Chris Mays and Abe Hamaday. As of late Tuesday afternoon, Mays held a slight lead, but anything could change with these final ballot dumps from remaining counties. Joe Dana, 12 News.